What is up guys? I hope everybody is having a great day. We got some uh, random sun. I say random because it was supposed to snow like almost all week and rain and be cold and then today it was like here's 60 degrees and I'm all like what? Okay. Can't complain about that, huh? So the craziest thing happened. We hit a thousand subscribers. Like what? Like I was not expecting that to happen the way it did because like, you know, I was thinking, you know, we would do something for it. But like it just happened and now we have 1100 so like oh my lanta like thank you guys so freaking much i appreciate it it means the freaking world to me so like do you guys have any ideas for something that we should do to like sell it whoa my lanta guy that was genius business holy cow wow wow this dude's woman just like left him he's just like i'll stop hey buddy okay Anyway, back to what I was saying. Do you guys have like any ideas on something I should do for like a thousand? Because like that's freaking exciting. Like I am so pumped about it. Like you have no idea when it happened. I was like, oh my god, wow, look. Ah! Like it was just so exciting for me. Thank you all so much again. I appreciate it. Hey, buddy. And on top of that, the Tiki Talk just hit like 52K. I'm pretty sure is what it hit before I left the house. Pretty sure it was 52K, which is awesome. Like, heck yeah, we're moving on up, guys. Oh man, that's a sick jigsaw on the back of that thing. Nice, man. You mean to tell me you can handle that bike, Mr. Mustache? It's impressive. Whew. Uh oh, we got a loud boy. We got an old Camaro right here. Oh yeah. Sounds good though. There's this arch nemesis, the Mustang. Oh, that's a V6. Don't sweat it, bro. Oh, I see a motorcycle up ahead. I wonder if we'll end up going the same way this one goes. Probably not, but hey, we might. I might just follow the guy. Not in like a creepy way, but just to be like, hey, but hey, you know what I'm saying? Oh man, look at it. This Chevy Camaro's got a drag pack, kinda, almost, not really. Oh, I got a green light. Okay, cool. I didn't even realize it. I just looked up and I was like, oh, well, that never happens. A green light, no way. Oh, there's a motorcycle, two motorcycles. Hey, buddy! Hey, other buddy! Uh-oh, fire truck. We got fire! We got fire! Okay, you don't have to stop, like, back here, guy. Like, he's literally going the other way. Like, chill out. It's all good. So it's, it's gonna be okay. You're going the opposite direction. If he was gonna go that way, I, I don't know where he would've went. Where, like, through that field, buddy? Yeah, that's what I thought. Then again, I don't know. Maybe I'm the idiot. I mean, is that even a question? Like, duh. All right, guys, we got a green light. Come on. Right foot, right foot. Accelerator. We're still not moving. We still have yet to move, but the light has been green for a minute. So I don't know what it was the other day, but I asked my wife a question. Okay. It was, it was kind of a serious joking question. Okay. I, I think I was like getting delusional because I was like so tired, you know. Um, so anyway, if you rub your two fingers together like this, which one do you feel? I know, right? It's like confusing. My wife said both, and I'm like, but do you though? You know what I mean? Like, can you physically feel both your fingers? I don't know. And you know, I'm not the type of person to Google anything. Like, you know, I just thought it was funny, and then it really kind of like made my brain go, wait a minute. So, fun fact, because my daughter is so intelligent for her age and some does some stuff that like blows her mind, my wife got... My wife bought her a book on physics, and then like astronomy, and then mathematics, and science, I'm pretty sure. And, and it's pretty interesting. Like, I've even learned some stuff about it. No, like, it's, it's, it's kind of cool. But you know, the more you read and drill into their head, the more they're going to know. Is that a Trailblazer SS mail delivery car? No, it's not an SS. Okay, never mind. I was like, wait a minute. Oh, here we go. The bridge that makes me so nervous. Okay, don't see anything. Don't see anything. Yeah, we made it. Oh, uh, well there, minivan. Uh, yeah, hi. How are you doing? I'm right here. <laughs> oh, she about did it. She won't even look at me. She's just going to look at her phone. It's probably what she was doing before when you almost pulled out in front of me. Rude. Could have said sorry while you chugged that Mountain Dew. So anyway, me and my wife have some uh, really, really big news. No, she's not pregnant again. <laughs> um, but I'm going to keep it secret until it gets closer to time or we hit 1,500 subs. Whichever one comes first, I'll tell you the secret. We're trying to keep it on the low low until it happens. You know what I mean? Because things can change and then it might not come true. You know what, you know what I'm saying? 
it's just like that's why i try not to talk about stuff like that because as soon as i talk about it it's kind of like the bottom falls out of the cup you know what i'm saying i probably won't get the green light here oh we did get the green light okay cool beans hey buddy oh we got another one like back to back almost hey buddy eek i thought he was coming on the road i was like oh no no, nah, he just decided to go down the emergency lane and turn, turn into another parking lot. Okay, so story time. You know, most cars nowadays have heated seats, right? Heated seats are freaking awesome, especially when it's cold outside and you have leather seats. You know what I'm saying? Leather seats get really freaking cold when it's really cold outside. All right, okay, now that we're on the same page, I was letting BMW warm up, you know? Because you don't just get in a car and drive it when it's cold outside. You got to let it warm up, okay? So then I turned on the uh, heated seats because I didn't want my little booty to get cold. And uh, so all of a sudden, I started smelling something that kind of smells like it, it's on fire, like almost like an electrical fire, right? And I'm like, surely not okay so um surely uh yeah obviously okay all of a sudden smoke started coming out of the seat oh my god i about freaking pooped up in my britches okay smoke was coming out of the seat i hurried up turned the thing off and just tried to smother everything with my hands i was freaking out okay i was like no we still in the garage what am i going to do like it was crazy but it just went out but needless to say i'm never using heated seats again after that i'm sure like something just shorted out like something happened it's probably a fluke but listen that ruined heated seats for me. Holy cow, I thought that was a bear, but it's a guy dressed completely like in dark colors and bent over. I was like, a bear in the middle of town? What? I about freaked out. because I mean, it looked like a big ass bear, but it was just a guy bent over. That was weird. Hey, buddy! I love when I get over to pass somebody and then they like speed up. Like, that's like one of my favorite things. Like, yeah, man, I'm just getting over to pass you because you want to hang out in the fast lane. So I get in the slow lane to pass you and then you want to speed up. Like, oh, my Lanta. People like that really grind my gears. And now look, I got behind this guy. So now I get to get back behind this ass one. I love it right now. Since it's like 60 degrees, everybody's got like, well, not everybody because, you know, some people's, you know, they still stay cold. But most everybody has their windows down. There's a bunch of motorcycles out. Like, it's just freaking awesome. Check out this guy. Is he going to wave at me? Hey, buddy, how's it going, buddy? Now he's gonna get beside of me. He's gonna interact with me. No, nope. he's a shy one. He's shy. Oh, you don't want to talk, buddy. It's him's a little shy. It's okay. It's okay. See, that's why so many Harley people wreck while they're going so slow. Like me, I rarely put my feet down. I always drag my rear brake and I just go super slow. Check out homie up there. He's literally dragging his feet and he's walking his bike. So if you're new to riding or anything, this is a piece of advice. Don't walk your bike. Don't do it. Don't put your feet down. Just do like I do. And you leave your feet up and you just drag your rear brake. And you just milk your clutch. And it's all good. You don't ever have to really put your feet down. It doesn't matter how slow you're going. I don't know what it is with the cruiser riders that they just want to walk their bike. Like, I mean, I rode my dad's bike and I never had to walk it. I rode it just like I would ride any other bike. Like, I, I don't understand. That reminds me of a time we went to like this uh, bike meet thingy bomber and there was a whole bunch of cruisers, right? And so this guy came in, you know, revving like most Harley riders do. They're like, vroom, vroom, I'm hard ass, vroom, vroom, okay. And then uh, he went to back it in and then he pulled it forward while he walked it, okay? So he's going to like park his bike and then he's moving it back forward. And then he got too far ahead of himself with walking it. And so he just dropped his bike in front of thousands of people. I kind of feel sorry for the guy because I'm like sure that was embarrassing as hell. Like I probably would have just rode my bike right back out of there. Like that's that's embarrassing. Wow, you just want to stop in the corner, dude? Yeah, you better shoot all the way across there, buddy. Freaking idiots! Idiots everywhere you go. Oh boy, the Mustangs are even. Oh, vroom vroom. Vroom vroom with your hood scoop. I bet it's still slow. I bet it's a factory 4.6 with an exhaust and an intake, but you think it's a freaking race car. If you couldn't hear it, guy was just back there like revving. I think he was revving at the Focus ST behind him. They'll probably play on down the road, but you know, there's too much traffic for me to go, uh, you know, watch that go down. God dang, that's green. Bye guy. Well, I guess this Mustang in front of me came from like a salvage lot because on the back bumper, I don't know if you can see, but it says 180340-10. That's probably a lot number, 
for like an auction or something like i'm sorry that would have been the first thing i do is rub that shiznit off by the looks of that muffler it probably jumped a curb that side's like foobarred and mashed in but who am i to you know pick at your car buddy it's not mine you know it's really crazy how like you can go like a long time without riding like every day or every other day and you kind of like get out of the habit like stuff that you used to hit like no problem it's stuff that you used to do, no problem, I guess I should say. Now it kind of gives you like that eerie stomach feeling like, uh oh. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel kind of like uneasy on a bike when I haven't rode it in a while. I mean, it, I'm not saying like I don't remember how to do stuff. Like it's still like muscle memory, but it's just kind of like, once you get out of the habit of doing it all the time, it just gets weird, you know? Every time I see sequential taillights on a Mustang, I just want to go la la left, la la left, la la left. I don't know. I'm weird. All right, you're going to like almost stop way back here. I'm just about to hop up in front of you and then pop this right. Actually, you know what? I'll go straight. I don't feel like going that way. We got a lot of rain. It's probably like washed out really bad. So apparently TikTok has like this Q&A thing now because it like sent me a notification about it. So I turned it on uh, before I came riding. With that being said, if anybody has any questions you want to ask me, uh, just hop on over to my TikTok and uh, hit that Q&A thing. It's like underneath like your bio is where it puts it and you just click on it, I guess, and like you can type in a question and then I'll get it and it'll let me respond to it. I'm assuming it's going to let me respond to it as a video. I don't know. I haven't done it yet, but you know, I'm just, I'm just assuming, but you know what happens when you assume. Uh-oh, we got a money truck. Uh-oh, what should we do, boys? GTA has uh, prepared me for this moment in life. So, uh, funny story happened the other day. I kind of already forgot about it until I just passed the area that it happened at. I thought it was pretty funny. So, they're doing construction, right? And so, they have one side of the road blocked. And then the other side's like open until I guess you get further down, right? So, most of the time, what that means is there's a flagger and then one side will go and then the other side will go okay it's not my first rodeo i know how this works well the flagger guy um wasn't paying attention he was just uh, i don't know he was probably texting hey buddy and so um i just drove right on past right um then he started yelling at me and i'm like uh whoa sir don't freaking yell at me when you're the one not doing your job you know what i'm saying like oh boy don't piss some materials today so anyway, I just kind of waved at him and smiled and then kept going on through. But apparently they were supposed to be shutting down the entire road. Homeboy was just supposed to completely stop traffic and turn them around, but he failed miserably at that job, which is freaking hilarious. Hey, buddy! How hard is it to listen for cars and look for cars? I mean, like, it was wide out in the open. Like, he had, I don't know how many minutes to see me. Like, it's a flat road, you know what I mean? And then he waited until after I passed him and then yelled at me. Like, no, no, sir, you do your job. Don't yell at me like I'm in the wrong because you failed miserably. Alrighty, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Thank you all so much for helping me hit that milestone of a thousand. Here's to the next milestone. You all are awesome. I appreciate you all. There will be many, many, many more videos to come. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos with your friends, and uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Later.